Isaiah chapter 19, verse 14. The Lord power hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggers in his vomit. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 14, New Living Translation on the right-hand side of your screen. The Lord power hath sent a spirit of foolishness on them, so all their suggestions are wrong. They cause Egypt to stagger like a drunk in his vomit. Give me a second. Hold on. I just thought of another scripture to bring that out before we start our greeting. And that's Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. New living, right hand side. I am the Lord your power, who rescued you from the land of Egypt, the place of your slavery. And who or what nation of people was brought out of the land of Egypt, which is known as the house of bondage or slavery or captivity by the way of Moses and Aaron, the children of Israel. All right, let's get one more and then we'll start. Second of this. Uh, five and eight, there it is. Mm. Second Ezra chapter 5, verse 8 from the Apocrypha. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be oft sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. That's what most people call babies' kids, them bad, I mean bad kids, okay? Let's also get one more. You see this word here? Fire. And the fire shall often be sent out again. What's fire? What is fire? Sarak. 39. 28. This is from the Apocrypha as well. Two-thirds of the house of Israel, the so-called Christians, say that I have read the whole Bible, really. Well, if you don't know these scriptures and from these books, then you have not read the whole Bible. That's blasphemy. So Rock 39, 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Say what? There be spirits that are created for vengeance. No, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of, the, of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire. What? Fire. Who? Fire. No. Fire. Say again. Fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Verse 30. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword Punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well who teach this gospel and push this gospel to the four corners of the earth where the children of Israel are scattered or brought. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, the 144,000, the apostles of great millstone, the brethren, the teachers, the prophets, the faithful servants. Building the tabernacle of David, Dawada in ancient Hebrew, which means the city of the beloved. I refer to them as the carpenters building the house of David. Shalom. Now, 
the inspiration for this video comes to me on behalf of something that I just seen. Um, I think it was in, um, was it in my notebook? No, it was in Google News. Um, I usually don't really pay too much attention to Google News. Um, I have other sources that I pull information from, articles to do videos upon. But this particular video had, this title of this Google News article had caught my attention. So we're going to go directly into it. And um, we're going to bring out a few scriptures. We may even also go back over some of these scriptures in our introduction. And you will see how the scriptures are applied. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. Um, I have about maybe 30, 35 minutes before I have to lay it to work. Normally, I'm already dressed. But when I saw this video, I said, let me get right on it and put this truth out so that the hopeful elect will be able to avoid these stumbling blocks. Hmm? Let's get started. So you see from this reading of that scripture, verse 35 is the spirit of vengeance. So when you have someone in your neighborhood and you say, oh, you know, that was a nice old lady. You know, she helped out everybody. She would go to the grocery store and she would stop by the church house and pick up canned goods and go and visit the sick and the shut-ins and, and take them to older people out in her car. I mean, it's a shame what happened to that woman. But what happened to her? Well, her house burned down and she couldn't get out. She opened the door and let all the cats out, and they just went around right on down the block, and they sit back and they look at their home. <laughs> and then the house trapped her in there. I tell you, that old devil ain't no de That's not no devil. According to the scripture, the Lord did that. And you say, why would the Lord do that? Because, Lord, do you know back in the day, 40 or 50 years ago, before you were born, this lady used to run a bathhouse, a whorehouse. And there were people, women that worked for her in her bathhouse, her whorehouse, that didn't want to bring her her cut of the money. And she had some men go back there and ravish her. Oh, yeah, she was out there with a spit, snapping and banging and bagging and hacking food. And slamming people down and slapping people in the face with the two by four with the nails stick off on them. Yes. And because she has not repented, the Lord sent fire down. He said, Spirit of fire, come forth. Spirit of fire, I said, yes. <laughs> yes, Pastor. And you go down there to Miss Pearlene Jackson down there on 50 person. And now, and go and do your thing. And next thing you know, poof. Now, that was an example that did not really happen, but I'm giving you an example of how things be. And I don't, that's a nice old lady. Now, but them boys, it's the devil. Devil, my ass. That's how I was shooting up a shot by Shimon Cocky Dodge. We just read it in the scriptures, did we not? Let's begin. Now, this video here, um, I'm really going to play the video. I'm not going to even read the article because what you're going to see in the video is enough for you to see and understand what is going on, okay? This is the, the, this is the, uh, the mission of the New Age um, uh, operating under the God of this world, okay? The elite world bankers um, and whatnot. You know, and that man named Kill, Kill Cates, Kill Cates, K A T E S, Kill Cates. Y'all, yeah, y'all ought to be able to figure this out. You know, you know, uh, yeah, he's doing all this. I mean, he got his hand all in it. Ooh, we. Let's play this video. Um, comes up from CNET. It was published the twentieth of September, twenty um, at the bottom, there's an advertisement for free government tablet. Tablet, there's nothing free. It may be free to you, but somebody paying for it, right? Right. <laughs> oh, that's right. Your tax dollars paying for your. T yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is the great deceiver. Have you been deceived? 
Now, the name of the article is Amazon's Alexa Gets More Conversational with AI. Uh, give me a second. I got a phone call my house phone. Hold on. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Huh. I'm not surprised. I- <clears throat> Yeah, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm talking, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, give me just a second, I have, my job is calling me, I'll pick back up in a few minutes. Um, no, he was talking to me in the No, I don't get it. No, I don't get it. No, I I don't know because I'm looking for a little pink right now on this jacket. Mama, I'm in the middle of a video. Let me run this, finish this video up real quick, and then I'll come out. All right. Okay, thank you so much for leaving me how to stream I know it took a little while. Um... I don't know who that is, but I'll shoot him a text. All right, okay. All right, thank you. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, it's lucky for the interruption. My uh, my uh, uh <clears throat> employer, they just called me to see if I could come in earlier because the guy that was working me that day, he called him like crazy. He didn't come in at all, and he did that last week Monday. I mean, because of his error. <laughs> Because of his error, I, I gained an additional 16 hours, you know, so next week, next week I'm going to be smiling from ear to ear <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> then I'll be trying to find $14. <laughs> but anyway, again, sorry for that interruption. Um, uh, okay. Um, now, I'm just going to play this video. Um, this is from, it's called Amazon's Alexa Gets More Conversation with AI. The reason why, the reason what poised me to do this video is because it's a prophecy video. And um, I, I need to, to um, I do a lot of teaching videos about certain particular things that I bring out according to the Holy Spirit that he, 
downloads into my mind, my heart to do a video on. And that's why I'm doing the last several days. But I know I needed to do, not that I needed, I wanted to do more, uh, a few more prophecy videos. Um, second is 15, go through that. Um, just, just go through that, um, read through that chapter and bring out what those particular scriptures are in reference to. Um, Elder Pascal Bard did a video. I want to say within the last 24 hours because I saw it in my YouTube feed as I was scrolling up. I just watched the video um, that he did um, called, I think it was entitled, Five Traits of a High Value Man. And then after I watched that video, um, I scrolled up to my YouTube feed and uh, whatnot, and I saw another video that he had did that was speaking of Second Edges chapter 15 is happening now. So that's all prophecy. Second Edges chapter 9, 15, Second Edges chapter 9, chapter 15, chapter 16 are your major prophecy, prophetical um, chapters. Um, there are other prophetic chapters, but those chapters are prophecy, things that are yet to come. And as he states, Second Exodus chapter fifteen is in effect now. Uh, the seventeenth verse deals with. Um, uh, it says, "Men, men, men will desire to go into a city and shall not be permitted to." Okay. And I mean, that's when they set up them damn checkpoints. They're coming. They are not here yet, but they are coming. And uh, our Lord willing. All that have read, have learned the gospel and the knowledge of the truth and the doctrine thereof will have seen and gotten a lot more serious who have not repented. have gotten a lot more serious about their salvation because let me tell you something, when the Lord starts to get trouble, the Lord ain't, 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 ain't you ain't gonna help us, neighbor. You ain't gonna help us. Knowledge is truth, it's wisdom and understanding, pursuant to Isaiah 33 and 6. Um, because in a person who has that, who has attained all that he could, and reads every day and is and is mingled with prophecy because the Lord says he is the spirit of prophecy and I did say mingled they all wrapped up in the word and all wrapped up in the prophecy and what's important to the Lord is important to them those are the elect of the house of Israel those are chosen spirits they're chosen already for salvation and they're gonna do I, I said that in the video yesterday or the day before yesterday they're gonna do they ain't gonna they ain't gonna leave nothing to change they could push all all the way to the pedal, <clears throat> making their calling and election sure. They're gonna do all the way to the end. Revelation two and ten, not Revelation two and ten is locked. It's related um, to what I was gonna say, but the Lord says those that endure all the way to the end, the same shall be saved. So if you if you're getting there and you're almost there, but you ain't got it, looking, you need to go ahead on. And pray to Yahweh Shem like I'm talking to you now, and tell him the deal. He already know. He put he put the thoughts in your head to do things that are and that are not convenient. So you need to come to him and say, "Look, Dad, I, I need help. Uh, I, I know what's coming. I, I don't want to be here running from no damn nuclear missile, and and, and, and God's just on the backside burning up the damn crash. I know, no sir. I." I Leviton, that is to you. Job chapter 41, verse 12 on down speaks of Leviton. Y'all uh, probably recognize him as Godzilla. Yeah, he real. Mm -hmm. So let's get to it. <clears throat> Again, I was like for the interruption. Um, my, my phone, as you can see at the top of my screen, to the left of my Wi-Fi indicator, uh, I have my Do Not Disturb in for the video. So my manager couldn't get me on the phone. And her texts would not have come through. They'll come through when I get off the phone. But uh, when I finish the video, so let's let's go ahead and play this and get with it. Cuss. Alexa, let's chat. Hi there. What can I help you with? How are you? I'm doing well. I am very happy to be able to help so many people every day by chatting with them. How about yourself? Doing great. I'm happy to be sharing our latest innovations with our customers. It's great to hear. Our customers are very important to us, and we're always looking for ways to improve their experience. We'll get to that, but I have some questions for you. We'll get to that, but I have some questions for you. Sure. 
would you like to ask me? How's my favorite football team doing? How's my favorite football team doing? Vanderbilt football is ranked fifth in the SEC East at two and two. They are not ranked in the AP, CFP, or coaches poll. Okay, let me pause here for a second. Uh, conversations just started, but as you can already see, the device knows my favorite team. I didn't have to say Vandy. It's been personalized for that. And the responses, as you can see, have started to be infused with personality as well. And just the little bit that we did there, we've already called multiple APIs in real time. Now I'm going to go back to the device and pick up where I left off with, uh, with, with that sensor fusion I talked about early. And we'll tell you a little bit more how we do that. But let's just keep going. Do you have a favorite football team? I'm from Seattle, so my favorite team is the Seahawks. 12th man for life. How did they do in their last game? They beat the Lions 37 to 31 in overtime. That's fantastic. Yes, it really made my day. How did Geno Smith do in the last game? He threw for 328 passing yards. Now, the reason why I want to stop the video because when the device begins to speak on behalf of the stats of that team, okay, that's recorded facts, okay. Um, the rankings, you know, fifth in this poll, whatever, those are facts, okay. Um, those are facts, okay. But in the very beginning of the video, she said that, uh, and I, I just did it, it said, not she, it said it's a device. It's not a real person. That's another thing that caught me, uh, caught my attention about this video is because a person that lives alone, okay, no matter if they two-third or the left-hand side or what, the children of men, okay, if they live alone and they used to be around people and maybe people used to live in the house and they moved out and got their own place or whatnot, if they have this device, and most of your millennials and your liberals have devices like this, um, we have an Alexa device in our house. And my sister brought it in. She brought it in for the reasons of my, my mother and father being able to talk to my nephews, which are her kids. So, like, you know, they have their own, they have a device in their room. They have a device in their computer room. And they can just call us anytime they want and just, like, call us up in the ring. I'll be like, I, you know, you get some phone. You say, what's up, Uncle E? I say, what's up? That's what y'all doing. <laughs> you know, I can see them and they can see me. <clears throat> that was the real purpose of her bringing that in. And I'm prior service military. She's prior service military. She was an officer in intelligence. And I told her, I said, hey, I said, why in here you bring that damn thing in here? You know, I like that damn thing. <laughs> and she, she was aware, like what we are aware, that it is a surveillance device. Um, there was one particular time when we talked about it, seeing something about um, a family that was on the street near the electric device. And this family, another family across the street, up a couple blocks off, had an electric device. And they were listed on each other's contact list, like the people that you would call using your device, you know. Um, and you know, I think there was some beef between the two women about a particular subject matter. And the device in the lady's house had recorded all that she had said. You know, all her curse words and, you know, and that B don't know me. I'll come up there and wring her damn neck. She don't want me to come over there. In fact, you know what? I'm going to tell my husband I'm trying to go over there and get what I need, because if I go over there, I'm going to paint the town right, right? <laughs> Basically, that kind of conversation, y'all familiar with that. And <clears throat> what Alexa did, what, what, what the Alexa device did, was the Alexa device, you call it a blip, I call it purposely happening, because that's going to bring about confusion. That's going to bring about confusion. Now that all conversations, all comments, all, every, all that stuff is being recorded. The Department of Homeland Security is going to use those, those pieces of information 
things that you said. You get mad because you ain't got your tax refund when you going to get it because you want to buy a car. And them, them damn people in D.C., I, I'm, 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 I'm just tired of them. And then you start speaking threats out of anger. You ain't going to do no such thing. You trying to get a car or you trying to put a down payment down on a damn cell in the federal prison. I mean, I mean, hello, hello. Hello, you already in bondage. We ain't looking for no more damn extra bondage. I mean, I, I don't know nobody who is that is. But then, and all that I've said and done is all recorded. So if you want to bring any charges against you for anything, any anything or whatever the case is, if that's what they want to do, and a lot of that is going to be happening when Revelation 2 and 10 goes into effect with, the, with, the, with, with a pile of people in the damn building. Oh, you all know what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> You know, and whatnot, and when that happened, you know, they're going to have uh, tribunals. Hey, come on, y'all, come on in here. Now, y'all had said this about the government against the government. And, you know, I was mad because I got my money come out of one no more cars. Yeah, but it was see. And he done been saying more than one. We look at that as a threat. Yeah, see, that, yeah, y'all getting it, you're getting it. I mean, most of y'all know this, but we have new brothers be coming to the channel, so. They, 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 they now being made aware too, so that this won't be a stumbling block to them. Remember, the Lord says He's going to judge us for every out of work, every seed out of our mouth. And he said that. Remember that. Well, idle means refers to we're not living in truth and doctrine. So a lot of the stuff that you say out of your mouth is going to come right the hell back and and and, and bite you in, in in the buttock, if you will. So. That's why we gotta be careful about what we speak and how we speak. You know, the um, Bible says, what comes out of a man's mouth is what the Bible says now. And you might say, oh, I never realized all this. Okay. Yeah, you didn't realize, but I'm, I'm telling you. Now let's get back. She also said in the beginning, she says, I like, I like being in a position to help so many people. Well, her idea of help is wickedness. I mean, you're talking to a goddamn electronic device. Is that a man? Hell no. Is that a woman? Hell no. Grandma. Nope. The granddaddy that stutter and missing teeth. Nope. The little child. Nope. The little bad little monster. Is, is that no? So what the hell? Who are you talking to? You're talking to yourself. You're talking to a device. I mean, let's keep on. I'm just ready if we finish in a few minutes. I have to get dressed for work. Yards and had two passing touchdowns. So just like talking to another human being, I was able to restart that conversation. It didn't lose any context. Call I just said that. I just said that. I didn't look at this whole video. I looked at it the first time you began to see it, I was beginning to see it. I had listened to the first few, maybe minute or two of the video, but not up this far. So he says, just like talking to another human being. What the hell is you talking about? Just like. Let's continue. <sighs> I didn't have to use the wake word again. And again, we called multiple APIs there. And you can see the, the results, the responses are very terse. They're very succinct. Let's keep going. When's the next Seahawks game? The next game is on Sunday, September 24th at 4.05 p.m. I'm going to have some friends over for the game on Sunday. That sounds fun. Are you excited for the game? I think I'd like to grill. What are some good sides to go with barbecue chicken? Some other great sides to serve with barbecue chicken include coleslaw, potato salad, or baked beans. What's the weather in Seattle this Sunday? Now, also, he asked, a man asked a machine, what are some good sides to go with barbecue chicken? Now, <clears throat> this is wickedness. Why? Because ain't no machine going to tell you and what it does, I mean, we, it, it probably more than likely goes through Google since it rides on the Google platform as its source and finds videos through YouTube that people have made in the past and say that this is good. You know what I mean? In the, um, our community, as children of Israel, everybody kind of already know. 
if you got barbecue chicken, all right, you got potato salad, uh, you got um, some type of punch or soda, if you got a couple of bottles of liquor, if you got a couple of cases of that damn good old Bud Light, okay, um, let's see what else you have in the cookout. Uh, you would have, um, for guys, the guys getting to, for uh, 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 Jake's getting to the cookout late, had to work, hanging out with a homeboy and, and forgot, lost track of time. You know, that's our people. We always late. Um, uh, getting somewhere. And barbecue chicken, uh, a leg and, and, and two thighs with sauce on it and potato salad. That's what we need. We don't need all that extra macaron in it. All that other stuff. We don't need all that. The women like that, but no, just look at, hey man, just give me two thighs and a, and a leg and a, not that hard leg. That leg, they look like it's hard. Give me that, yeah, right there, the juicy, greasy, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. And then we get potato salad and, 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 and then we're going to ask who made the potato salad? Who made it? Oh yeah, I can eat Aunt Birdie potato salad. And, and we get some punch and down. Uh, and a cup of soda or so we got to dig down deep in that damn big plastic trash can full of ice and water. You gotta freeze your damn arm off to get the damn drink you want. And then when you get down there and see the drink you want, some girl come up, some lady come up and she, you know, she she got it got it all dressed up and y'all know what I'm talking about. And she wanna get the last picture. You damn. <laughs> yeah, but because She's sitting there seducing you with her dress and her wear. You let it ride and sit back. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I just want to bring that out. Let's hit, let's keep keep on a little bit more. <clears throat> In Seattle, this Sunday you can expect showers with an 89% chance. And rain is expected with an 89% chance. You can expect about 0 0.33 inches. Okay, write a message I can send to my friends inviting them over at noon on Sunday. Hey friend, it's been a while since we've last met up. Want to come over at noon on Sunday? We can watch the game and have some barbecue chicken and sides. Send that to my phone. I sent the message to your app. So as you can see, this is designed where a person who lives by themselves won't have to live by themselves because they are talking to a machine, a device that has been personalized with the tone and the language and the dialect of a particular said person, man or woman. So it's just like you're talking to a human. And even he said that, the, the guy leading up the platform says, it's, it's just like talking to a human. Well, it's not. Hue, human. Hue means colored man. Now let me ask you a question. You ever heard any colored man talking talk talking like that? Huh? Yeah, now the barbecue, yeah, but ain't nobody mentioned no damn Colt 45. <laughs> ain't nobody mentioned nothing to roll up, light up. Ain't nobody mentioned no damn no 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 brown gin secret gin ain't nobody. So all of this is out of order. I mean that's not according to scripture, but that's according to our life. Ain't nobody got no damn cold over here with the arm all down and put them, got them big heavy shit around. Ain't nobody talking about that, though. Ain't nobody talking about, hey, man, how much, how long, how much that chameleon paint job has set you back? Man, $3,500. $3, damn, boy. Why ain't like that damn car there on the month? Boy, that thing that look good. I'd be scared to drive it. Man, when, it when, 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 I, when the dust get on and make it dirt, I got to wash it again. <laughs> So I just wanted to bring all that out. Um, I have to head to work. Um, they just called me in. I'm coming a little earlier. Um, I'll flock you for the interruption. I just said yesterday on a video, when I come outside and I start a video, here come all these distractions and interruptions. Y'all start making that up. If you're making videos and you're pushing in the spirit of y'all pushing the shot, that most likely is happening to you too. Okay, so open this lesson to and find the hands come on the glory and power of Yahweh, Bishim, Shah, Bishim, Akash, Kodash, double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone, who do well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elected of Scanner Broad. Until the next upload, um, I will put a few scriptures on the comment board, or I will make a few comments on the scriptures that were in the beginning of the video. 
I wanted to go over that, but time has has uh, escaped me to have, that was me being made planned allowable to have done in the video. So we will put I will put some notes in the comment board as well. Okay, uh, until next time. First Peter five eight. Be sober. Be vigilant, and uh, keep in mind. Uh, Ephesians five fifteen. Walk circumspectly. Okay. So the next time to the next upload uh, that we load to the channel, Shalom. I will also put a link to this video on the description box on the comment board.